Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about our weekly swing trading routine that I do every, sing every single Sunday. And I think every trader should have some sort of routine before going into the week. The reason why is I always imagine the week is like a football game. You need to have a playbook, an idea of things that are going to work, that could work. You need to have a defense plan. So if things aren't going your way, what are you going to do? This is crucial for any trading. So have, having a really, really well-developed routine will just make everything streamlined and a lot easier. And it doesn't take that long to do and it will set you up for success. So, you know, I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys want to learn more about swing trading, check out our school. It's fantastic. We have private live streams, quizzes, lectures, and actually we have our Black Friday sale for 51% off. So check it out down below. We teach you guys how to trade, how to find stocks, the scanners to use, everything and black friday code black friday 51 percent off click that link sign up and guys let's jump into this here so as of right now we aren't holding any positions which honestly has pros and cons of course because if you're not holding a position then you're not going to make any money so a lot of this week's plan is to plan out you know some stocks that have some sort of possibilities this is crucial for your trading on top of that we're also going to look at the the more recent swing trade and seeing how we can learn from it, right? So let's look at this here. So the more importantly here, the more recent swing trade that we took is on Tesla. So Tesla here had this nice trend on this hourly mark here. We got in on the short near and around that 336 mark. And let's pull up our new handy dandy trading journal. So we know here, we know that this week here, or yeah, this this past week here, this is our new our new journal. So if you guys are like, whoa, uh, how do I get that? I'll put it down below for you guys. So as of right now here, you know we've had three wins here, great PL, performance by strategy. Right now our moving average strategy has been the best here, which is great. And then going up to our trade log, we got in on that Tesla short at 336 and we held it all the way down to 319. So the reason why we got out of this trade, the reason why we got out of this trade is because it broke down that trend. You guys can see that trend line kind of broke down below it. Now, how can we learn from this? One of the things that I almost wish I would have done is this, is to look at the 15 minute chart. Looking at a lower time frame can often give you a separate picture of the trade. So maybe we would have actually continued to hold this for a possible move going down because you can see the stock actually formed a pretty much a lower low from that high forming that nice trend that continuation so if we had our stop loss at like 324 we could have risked four dollars to possibly have a move back down to 300 which would have been better so that's how we could have learned from it and that's why having a trading journal is so important is because you can review your trades you can review your entries your exits your risk management skills. So we'll put we'll put our new our new digital journal with Google Sheets down below so you guys can get it. it. You guys can get it on your phone, Android, Apple, computer, anything. You just need Google Sheets. So click that link, sign up or download it. Uh, and uh, let's look at here some stocks with some opportunity. So you know, with trading, a lot of trading here is just being prepared. As of right now, like I said, we aren't holding any plays, which is good but it's also bad so you know with with some of these here with some of these stocks here you guys can kind of see that looking at you know like like this one here if we look at the daily this would be a nice trend line play so for me i would rather leave a stock on watch than delete it if there's even a 10 percent chance of a move let's just leave it on watch so with this we could see a play on this trend line from from a move of two dollars to about three we're setting stops below like 230, risking 20 cents to make 60, three to one risk and reward. Um, the hourly has this trend line. We, we would want to get in on like the first day above the 200 day moving average line. You know, a lot of these here, downward trend, looking at this one. This one here, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, you know, we've seen some good sell off, which could bring opportunity. It's undervalued on the RSI. But I'm just not a fan of how we've seen this little dip up where it popped up pre-market and then sold off like crazy. So could see some, you know, it could be very influenced uh, very, very easily. But definitely want to get on watch here if it does break out, 
you know, above like 515 to 530. Could be a move going going soon. HL, similar situation, could be forming this nice upward trend. So if you hopped in near and around the 550 mark, set stops below like 528 for a move going forward, could be a good move here. So this is what swing trading does. This is what you do here is just seeking out these plays. Not a fan of that. We'll just delete it off. This one kind of already left the station. Here you guys can kind of see how this trade worked. Had, had huge resistance on that 90 day moving average line, broke out above it. The first day above it could have been the entry point, rallied up and has continued to rally its way up. You know, a lot of people think that trading is like this thing where you buy a stock at a dollar and you sell it at $300. When in reality, most successful swing traders or traders in general buy a stock at a dollar and they sell it at a dollar and five dollar and ten cents but they just do it very very consistent with little risk and and that's what makes up a really really good trader uh so check out our school we guys can learn how to trade but you know looking at some of these other plays you know you guys can see could see a move on that 90 day moving average line you know where it hit it we had that good move going up you know other ones 90 day moving average play uh, and this is why being prepared. So doing during these times here, you know, with something like this here, you want to go to the hourly, try to draw some sort of trend line or, or something going in, in the direction here. This one, since it's under, you know, one, two, three days, no contacts on the trend, we'd want to wait a little bit longer. ASPN here, similar thing, selling off like crazy, very undervalued. TEVA, very similar situation, right? You guys can see trend line and then we also have you know another trend line uh if we can get it to click there we go and a lot of people ask what broker i use i use mumu and i'll put them down below for you guys because i do think they're a really good broker for traders or here you guys can see great great move on that 90 day moving average line could see a move from like 18 to 21 c d p similar situation and this is what we teach right Finding these plays could see a move on that 90 going going up, you know, and this a lot of these stocks carry a lot of potential and I'm very this one here looks great, right? Could see a trend line there 90 day moving average line undervalued on that RSI and this is what we seek out. These are the stocks we really look for. So with your swing trading routine, what you want to do is just set alerts, be prepared, understand with the plays and watch list where you would want to enter the trade and doing that is very very important so i hope you guys all enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe don't forget to check out our school code black friday for 51 percent off check out our digital journal and sign up with mumu and i'll put them down below for you guys so hope you guys all enjoyed it like subscribe and we will see you guys in the next week or in the next one take care